Hello everyone. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a tutorial on how to use shape keys in Unity, or blend keys, or whatever you want to call them. Um, because it's easy, but there are no tutorials, and uh, if you're not aware of how to do it, it can be awfully hard to figure out. So I've just created this Blender object, which is a just a box. This is not a complicated object, it's just a, a box with a, with a line down the middle. And we're going to go ahead and just add some more lines. There you go. So the first thing you have to realize is that you have to have a skinned mesh renderer, not a mesh re not a mesh renderer. It has to be a skinned mesh renderer. Um, I'm not aware of any way to do that other than adding in armatures, uh, bones that is. So I'm not sure whether there's another way to do it. If there is, you're welcome to do it some other way. But since all of my stuff needs to be animated anyway, I always just add in bones. So there are our bones. Let's go ahead and bind to our bones. Oh, I think I've left shape, yeah, yeah, screencast keys, there we go. Let's go ahead and bind our bones by selecting the box and then selecting the bones with shift, hold down. Hit P with automatic weights, there you go. Now select this, switch over to pose mode. And, yep, there we go, we got a dancing box. Oompa cha cha cha, oompa cha cha cha. But that has nothing to do with shape keys, so that's just a dancing box. In order to give it shape keys, we've got to go over here to the dot dot dot, I think that's the mesh. Uh, category and add some shape keys. The first shape key will always be the default shape. This doesn't count as a shape key. It's just there to let you edit the default shape. Got it? This however is a shape key. So let's make one called Bloomf. And Bloomf will just do that. Okay? And now let's make one called Snorgle. And Snorgle will will do that. Okay. Now within Blender, you can apply these by this, you know, standard method. But you don't want to save it while they're applied because then Unity will double apply them. Um, Unity Unity does not know how to get the base shape. It only knows how to get whatever the shape is when you save it. So that's a heads up. So let's pop over into Unity. I've got this already set up here. So this is our bloomf, and it's got the bones, which can be rotated just like usual. And it's also got this cube skinned mesh renderer with the blend shapes in it. They go from 0 to 100. You can access them in any number of ways. You can you access them via animation. You can access them via the inspector. You can access them via script. Um, it's actually very easy once you get this far. The hard part is that first step. Here's a gotcha, though. You may find that if you've make it, made a complicated mesh, especially if you're using the skin modeling methods, um, it crashes Unity. And the reason for that is because you have some, vertic some vertices that aren't lining up correctly, some vertexes that screwed up. Um, so you can look around for vertexes that don't have any, that don't have any faces. That's one thing that might cause it. Another thing that might cause it is if you've got vertices in the same spot. So to fix that, you select the whole mesh like so, and you press W, and then you click on Remove Doubles. Okay? And if it says removed any amount higher than zero, that was your problem. So there's the gotchas. Uh, I hope this helps to get you started on using shape keys in Unity. This is very, very cool, extremely powerful. Um, and it makes all of the content in the Unity Asset Store obsolete. Literally all of it. So you're going to be looking forward to seeing some content in the Asset Store which has Blend Keys integrated into it. And uh, I may actually release some if I get around to it, but uh, it will be something more complicated than a box.